Okay, so now we need to figure out how to tie those MQL activities to opportunities. So we can see essentially a full funnel based on each uh, source. So say that I'm looking at my demos, I can see how many demos lead to, uh, to opportunities generated, to qualified opportunities, and then opportunities won. So we need to create a custom report again for this. So we'll do that and then uh, create the actual report. So we're back in the report types window. Um, I've already created the type, but we'll create a duplicate here. So opportunities with contact roles with activities because we're reporting the core objects going to be opportunities, but we're only interested in opportunities that have contact roles and then we're only interested in contact roles that have certain activities, which are the MQL um, form submissions. So <clears throat> we'll go ahead and create. Opportunities are our main object, our primary object. So we'll go activities with contact, sorry, opportunities, excuse me, with contact roles with effort activities. We'll do number two because this is a duplicate will show us opportunities with contact roles and their activities. Uh, we'll store it in the opportunities object. And again, we'll make it deployed. Hit next. All right, so we do need to do some work here. So here's our primary object and opportunities. So then the next relationship we need to do is contact roles. And each A record must have at least one B record. So the opportunities we pull into the report must have a contact role. We're going to add one more, which are the activities. And each B record has to have at least one related C record, okay? Uh, screenshot this if you need to, but that's the, that's the flow. Okay, we'll go ahead and save. Let's go check our layout because we'll likely have to want to add a couple of fields that we're, you know, we care about. All right. So I imagine we're going to want the AE qualified field on the opportunities. We will want the created date. We'll probably want maybe the close date. Uh, maybe you'll want something like the type or whatever. I'm going to come down here. We've got their full name. And let's say we want their email address. And then for their activities, we'll want to add, let's say, the comments. And the uh, created date. Actually, we'll leave that out. Um, that should be good. Okay. So we'll go ahead and save because if we look here, what we need for these MQL ones is we need the amount. That's right. We should have added the amount. <clears throat> The created date of the opportunity, not the activity, by the way, the opportunity, uh, the qualified date, the close date, and the subject. Great. We've got those. Okay. Go ahead and save. All right. So let's go run our report. We'll refresh this page. A new report. Opportunities with contact roles with activities right there. All right, here we are. Wonderful. So now we need to order our columns and set up our filters. So it looks like the amount field needs to be in column C. Oops. Come on there. There we go. 
the created date needs to be in column E. And the subject in D. So that means, oops. We'll need to bring up create a date. Okay, so amount in C, right? Subject in D, create a date in E. Perfect. All right, so we'll say, we'll call this ops generated from MQLs. We will make the date, the created date. We'll just do current and previous fiscal year. And then we want to make sure that we're only including activities from our MQLs. So we'll go to subject, contains, in this case, for me, that. In your case, maybe you've standardized it um, in some other way, but you'll need to make it so only uh, MQL activities show up. All right, we'll save and run. And there's our report. So it looks like we've got everything in the right place. Um, when we load it into the sheet, it should be set up correctly. We've got the filters in place. And then all we'd have to do is make copies of this report, but do it for opportunities qualified, which we had based on this, but yours might be different. And then opportunities closed one. And you would just need to change the filters to show just closed one opportunities.